Hey guys, welcome back to another one. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make wolf fang anchors or just dirt anchors in general. So just the disposable ones, um, though with wolf fangs, it's really easy to reuse them actually. So I'd highly recommend getting a stake puller so you can pull them out as they really do get stuck in there. So yeah, let's get on with it. So what I have here are just aluminum double furls. So that will be what the cable will be holding on to the stake with. So I've got 200 of those as I'm going to be needing them for other things as well. And then these are the wolf fane anchors themselves. So it is cheaper to make them yourself than to buy them, especially since I already had all this cable really easy really cheap and this cable is actually stronger than what i would have got through them so it should work for a really long time so as you can see this is what a wolf fang anchor looks like so very heavy duty there really thick so compared to some earth anchors they're kind of wimpy pull them out of the ground they'll bend up real bad you can't really reuse them because of that Whereas wolf fangs, these will last quite a while. They are super thick, so they are super strong. So you should be able to use these quite a bit. Um, say your cable gets all torn up, you can just chop it off, put a new cable on it, you're ready to go. So for this season, what I did is I bought three packs and then I got the fourth one for free. So I got a dozen acres for anchors for free so i will be making 48 anchors in total with wolf fangs let alone all the ones that i currently have i'm also going to be making probably a dozen more rebar stakes as well so we can get on with that so this is a factory wolf anchor right here so as you can see they use a different type of clamp on it but pretty similar and then just the same thing up here as well. So all together, this anchor is about 18 inches from flat end to here. So you have to take into account that you have to wrap and also wrap back here. So I added an additional inch for each side. So what I did, is we will be making 20 inch cables for this so this is what 20 inches of cable look like right there perfect so with this you chop it off the line make sure that both sides look pretty good or else you won't be able to insert that anchor over it or the furl and then you'll go ahead and actually Put on the first one on the top so what I like to do is leave one side where you can move this so it can get bigger and smaller for right now as I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to be wanting these set up and then I'm also um, I also got some large quick links that I'll be able to use as well if need be and then I'll probably put a couple of these right on the trap so you put the trap right in this loop so then it has an earth anchor already attached to it and it won't come off. Then you go ahead and you actually add on the wolf fang anchor. So as you can see I just chopped it right on there, clamped it right down. So this is real strong, not going to come off. And then you have a nice about 16 inches, let's take a peek, or nope, 18 inches. So you have 18 inch actual wolf fang. So a lot of places sell them at 12, 16, 20, and then like super aggressive long ones at like 32 for really sandy soils. Around where I live, highly dense clay areas. So that really holds these very well compared to sand, obviously. So with that being in mind, the 12s would have probably have been just fine but I don't like to guess with it because especially say I'm trapping a river bottom and it's kind of sandy, but then there's clay underneath. I don't want to have to be like, 
should I put two down? Like, what should I do here? I'd rather just have that extra four inches then this will definitely hold anything that I can catch. Anything from a mink to a coyote, big boar coon, like this will hold whatever I need it to hold. So with that being in mind, we have about 43 more cables to cut as I have three right here. And then we have a lot of hammering to do. So since I can't find my wire crimp to save my life, all I'm using is this. Pure metal all the way. And then just a hammer. So then I just clamp this on, hammer that furrow onto it. It won't come off. So you'll see that later. So let's just go ahead and get started with all the cutting and then we'll go from there. So you guys saw that I cut all 40, 48 cables. So we have them all right here. And then I went ahead and I actually got 10 of them done so far. So it took me two, three minutes piece a piece. Um, just because I don't have my crimper, it makes it a little, a little longer, but yeah. This is something great. This is why I start so early on all my trapping supplies. So season's still two to three months away right now. But if you're trying to do all of this, all your prep, trap, trapper, preparation, oof, and snare preparation, all that stuff, it really digs into your time and you might have to stay up late to get all this stuff done so it's ready for the season. So what I like to do is start in the summer you get a lot of stuff done even before seasons a thought so say i got 10 of these done tonight that's it got 30 38 left to go say another day next week i get eight done 10 done like if you get 10 done a week they're done way before trapping seasons even a thought so Great way to spend your time, um, especially if you don't have too much going on in summer. That kind of depends on your lifestyle and stuff like that. Where I'm at right now, it's very hot. You can't fish. So if you can't fish and COVID has everything else kind of closed down, it makes everything really difficult. So figure might as well get this stuff going. So yeah, I'll probably just slowly get on this stuff slowly throughout the summer and then in, into fall here. And then we'll have 48 brand new Wolf Fang anchors ready to go. And yeah, other than that, we have the some rebar stakes left to do for welding, um, but that shouldn't take too long either. That'd be a real quick, quick video for you guys, just a little how-to for it. And yeah, if you guys were wondering about anything else, anything else you'd like to see or anything that you're kind of questioning or anything like that, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And yeah, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.